Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this two-part video, you should be able to describe how transformers are used to change the potential difference of an electricity supply. You should then be able to describe what's meant by a step-up and a step-down transformer. And all of this is for triple physics higher tier students only. Now some students think that transformers is a tricky topic, but I promise you it's easier than it looks, so stick with it. I'm showing you the structure of a transformer here. A transformer consists of two coils of wire. On the left hand side we've got the primary coil, and on the right hand side we've got the secondary coil. Now these two coils are completely separate. There's no way that electrical current can pass directly from one coil to another. These two coils are wrapped around an iron core, and we use iron because it's easily magnetised. The primary coil is connected to an alternating current. As the current flows through the primary coil, it generates a changing magnetic field, and we can see that here. This magnetic field is transmitted along the iron core, and it passes through the secondary coil. When the changing magnetic field passes through the secondary coil, it induces a potential difference. Now there are two important points here. Firstly, the iron core increases the strength of the magnetic field. Secondly, transformers only work with alternating current. That's because we need a changing magnetic field to induce a potential difference. A direct current produces a constant magnetic field, and therefore it does not work in transformers. In this transformer, the primary and secondary coils both have the same number of turns. This means that the potential difference in the secondary coil will be the same as the potential difference in the primary coil. Now I should point out that this is only the case if the transformer is 100% efficient. In other words, if there's no energy wasted in the transformer. In practice, transformers are not 100% efficient. OK, I'm showing you here another transformer. In this case, we've got more turns in the secondary coil than in the primary coil. This means that the potential difference induced in the secondary coil will be greater than the potential difference in the primary coil. This type of transformer is called a step-up transformer, as it steps up the potential difference. Now, in the case of this transformer, we've got twice the number of turns in the secondary coil as the primary coil. That means that in this case, the potential difference in the secondary coil will be twice the potential difference in the primary coil. I'm showing you here a step-down transformer. Now, we've got fewer turns in the secondary coil compared to the primary coil. In a step-down transformer, the potential difference in the secondary coil is less than the potential difference in the primary coil. In this example, the secondary coil has half the number of turns as the primary coil. So in this case, the potential difference in the secondary coil will be half the potential difference in the primary coil. In the next video, we look at calculations involving transformers, and how transformers are used in electrical transmission. Remember, you can find plenty of questions on transformers in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.